All right, the visuals that we are getting uh, right now is uh, of Jammu where uh, the court hearing will be beginning and the accused, uh, the seven accused in the case where a separate charge sheet has been filed against uh, them and another charge sheet of where the juvenile is concerned. Now the accused being brought uh, to the court premises where the hearing is uh, believed to be uh, starting uh, shortly. As far as these accused are concerned in the case, uh, they have been uh, brought uh, to the court uh, premises uh, at this uh, point in time where the hearing is is about to begin and uh, this is uh, the uh, case of the eight-year-old child who was brutalized uh, uh, by uh, uh, by uh, allegedly these people and uh, as far as this case is concerned because uh, repeated attempts were made by lawyers and uh, also the politicians to deflect the judicial process now this is uh, the eight-year-old family who's been uh, seeking justice and they have been demanding that this case be transferred out of Jammu and Kashmir but the visuals that we are getting right now is the court premises there in Jammu uh, where the accused have just uh, been uh, brought in uh, by the police in the police van and uh, they are now being taken inside uh, the court uh, for the hearing which is all set to begin Pradeep Datta is joining us live. Uh, Pradeep, over to you. Take us through what you see uh, because we just saw the accused uh, being brought to the court. Hello. Yes, right now you can see the visual that all those uh, eight accused are being brought to the Katwa court complex and we are here and uh, in short while they will be produced before the session court because today the first hearing is to begin in this case and uh, today in fact uh, the, there is nothing going to be much in this regard because I spoke to all the defense lawyers as well as the, the, the prosecutors who have been appointed by the government. They said that today all these accused will be produced before the session court and uh, during that process they will be discussing about the legal remedies that are being available to them. They are there are two charge sheets. One charge sheet has got the seven names of seven accused. Other charge sheet has got the name of the juvenile. The one charge sheet that has got the name of the seven accused has already been committed by the chief judicial magistrate to the session court where the session court is going to uh, start the trial in this regard. While as the juvenile, uh, well, so far as the juvenile is concerned, the trial will be at uh, the chief judicial magistrate court. We have seen that from day one there has been a lot of politicization in this uh, politicization of this matter. Uh, chief Minister Mahmoud Mufti has already made it clear uh, that uh, they are going to constitute a fast track court in this regard. She has already spoken to the Chief Justice of India, Jammu and Kashmir, uh, Chief Justice, Jammu and Kashmir High Court. She said that this will be first of its kind so that uh, they get a speedy trial and within uh, three months the trial process is completed. And today is the first day of the hearing. Uh, eight, all the eight accused have been brought to the court and they will be produced before uh, the session judge and the process will start. I had been talking short while back. I was speaking to their defense lawyer also, uh, Ankur Sharma. He said uh, he was trying to cast aspersion on the charge he said the charge sheet is, seems to be more politically motivated than the legal one. He said that uh, we will not be dis uh, disclosing their strategy what, because once the process will start only then they are going to discuss about the loopholes in the charge sheet. But all he can say right now is that they are going to ensure uh, that uh, whatever is in the charge sheet uh, that many of these uh, the accused, he says that they are being framed. And uh, government has appointed two prosecutors in this regard because this is a very sensational case. It is a brutal case. We have seen that from day one everybody has been trying to politicize the whole issue uh, rather than looking at from the humanitarian angle they were looking at wearing those communal as well as the political glasses and we have seen that uh, till date in fact the political beam beam is continuing yesterday we saw Javadekar who is a senior uh, minister in uh, Modi's cabinet he was in fact addressing a uh, press conference where he had trained the guns towards uh, the Congress party he said that we have already initiated action against two or four ministers now the onus lies on Rahul Gandhi and that why uh, he is not initiating action against GM Meer who is uh, the party president here in the state of Jammu and Kashmir because he was the one who had cast his person on the investigation process of the crime branch. So uh, when we spoke to the GME, he said that the statement which he had given was two months back. But that is really very unfortunate thing because nobody is looking at the humanitarian angle. Nobody is trying to look at the people as human beings. Everybody is trying to politicize the issue wearing those communal glasses because for them the vote bank politics seems to be more important than anything else. Now it is to be seen how long this trial process will continue, how long the family members will have to wait for the justice because uh, the family members of the accused are 
demanding that there should be a CBI inquiry. They feel that uh, these uh, all these people who have been arrested uh, are being framed uh, by the government because of the political pressure. But uh, the things will get clear only once the trial process will uh, start. And right now I am just outside the session court where all these eight accused are being uh, produced in a short while. And the process of a uh, trial is going to start. Uh, they will uh, they are produced before the court. And definitely the first in fact uh, thing that will be discussed will be about the legal uh, remedies that are available to them. Meanwhile, we have seen that the counsel for uh, the victim, uh, she is already in Delhi. She is going to file a transfer petition in Supreme Court. She wants the case to be transferred out of state. She says that most is so surcharged because already we have seen a few days back the lawyers had in fact uh, barged inside the court complex and that time they had tried to obstruct um, the crime branch officials from pre presenting a charge sheet in this regard. And already uh, we have seen the Bar Council of India has also come down heavily on them because they are going to uh, send a uh, five-member team on 20th of this month which will be led by the High Court, uh, former High Court judge. And this five-member team is also looking into the conduct of the lawyers. They have already made it clear that if any of the lawyers is found to be ex obstructing uh, the justice to this victim, uh, eight-year-old victim who was brutally raped and murdered uh, on January 10th, uh, they are going to suspend their license. Either the suspension will be for six months or this suspension can be for, um, uh, for lifetime also. Uh, but uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, we can see here uh, there's a lot of tension. The security has been beefed up because uh, the government is not trying to take any chance. We have seen uh, that already there has been a lot of politics being uh, played over this issue. People had been coming out on the street. Even the Bar uh, Association of Jammu had given a call for the ban. They came out on the street. They were protesting on the street. Many people had been giving the argument why the uh, advocates had been protesting uh, rather than filing a, uh, a petition in this regard in the court. And because that would have been the mean because it was a kind of an unusual support uh, they got from the legal fraternity because they are considered to be guardians of the law. How come the guardians of law can in fact obstruct and try to block the justice uh, to the victim? And that was one of the reasons that we saw a massive outrage all over the country because after going through so the Prabhi, horrific detail that had appeared in the charge sheet. What happens in court today because earlier on you were pointing out that they will be told of their rights. Uh, what is their other legal uh, remedies as well uh, that could be accorded to them because we heard uh, the defense uh, uh, counsel as well saying that they will first take a look at the charge sheet thoroughly and then plan their next course of action. Go on, Pradeep, if you can hear me. Yes. Uh, short while back, I spoke to, in fact, a defense lawyer for one of the accused, Tilak Raj, who is a police officer who is said to have, in fact, uh, charge of uh, trying to destroy the evidence in this uh, regard. He said that he's yet to get the charge sheet. The first thing he will be just trying to tell before the court is that he should get the copy of the charge sheet. Accordingly, he will going to devise the strategy that how they are going to proceed further. While as the other uh, defense lawyer, Ankur Sharma, I spoke to, he said that uh, charge sheet, which has been given to him, uh, that has been, in fact, presented in the court by crime branch, that seems to be political motivated than legal one. He said there are a lot many loopholes because they are talking about how these people in fact has a consequency so that they can dislodge and uh, drive this community out of that particular area, Rasana, where they are uh, putting up. Basically, they thought that they are going to bring in kind of a, a demographic change. So he said that this thing had this thing had been going on for quite some time. So there, why, why they had to mention all these things in a charge sheet? He said that uh, they are going to work on it. He said, I will not be disclosing much about their strategy, but uh, over the period of time, definitely they are going to uh, defend their uh, uh, the accused uh, who, who, for whom he is appearing in the court uh, so that they are going to blast whatever is being uh, charged sheet, uh, whatever details are in there in the charge sheet. But uh, right now, you can see, this is the, behind me, this is the session court uh, where all these eight accused are being presented and you can see the security personnel, the security has been beefed up, large number of police personnel have been uh, deployed uh, here because last time uh, they had seen that the large, large number of uh, lawyers have come inside this uh, court complex and that time they had uh, raised slogans, they had tried to blow, block uh, the crime branch official from presenting charge sheet. And this time the government is not taking any chance. Uh, they are trying to ensure that there is a free and fair trial system. And as you can see, the large number of police personnel being deployed outside the session court where they are trying to ensure uh, that there is no uh, such problem of law and order. Nobody can come closer to the court. And uh, right now the process of uh, trial has started. The first hearing has already started. All the eight accused are right now inside. All the seven accused are inside the session court. 
court and they have been produced. Definitely the first and the foremost uh, thing that will be discussed is about the legal remedies that is available to them. If, okay. if somebody is not having a counsel, they can have a uh, counsel so that they can defend themselves. And they will be given, ad in fact, adequate time uh, to just uh, defend themselves. But uh, these uh, defense lawyers are saying that first it is for the prosecution <laughs> to pro produce evidence. What are the evidence they are having uh, with them that makes them say that these are the one who are responsible uh, for this uh, gruesome and horrific act. Uh, All right, as far as the, the family's plea is concerned, it will be taken up in the Supreme Court today. We're getting to know at around 2 this afternoon and also where they are seeking uh, for uh, the trial to be uh, moved outside the state of Jammu and Kashmir and also seeking for a court-monitored probe on this. Pradeep, uh, as soon as the hearing begins, we'll come back to you as well. Uh, for the moment, we slip into a